Okay, take a look at him, right? When I first joined Shidiria, his dad was president. Uh, <laughs> and were you alive? I can't. Yeah, you alive? I was probably in middle school. Okay. It's been a little while. So he's had plenty of experience. He grew up with it. But again, please welcome Chad here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it, everybody. So yeah, I am going to uh, talk about specific things you can do when asking for seller financing. And I hope that by the end of tonight, um, by the end of this discussion, you are going to be bold. You're gonna feel ready to ask for seller financing because really it helps the seller. So you are serving that seller and you're gonna benefit them by offering explaining to them how they can can offer seller financing to you i'm getting some strange looks but yeah we're going to get into it so so we're going to talk about seller financing creative financing and really the only difference for creative financing the deal structure is the same the only difference is that that money for the purchase is coming from the seller instead of coming from the bank. So it's not super complicated. And when you're talking to a seller about it, it doesn't have to be super complicated. They don't need to know the exact details. It's just that they're lending the money instead of that bank. That's as simple as it can be. So I'd ask you to think about, <clears throat> what if funding was not a problem? How many units would you buy? And really what difference would it make in your life? Because that's really why it matters, right? The reason we want uh, these properties is to make an impact in our lives. We want more freedom, uh, we want to escape our job, we want to travel more, there's some reason, some impact that it's gonna have on our life. And if funding is not an issue, uh, we can really do a lot of deals. And if you have been on the online meetings, the Buying Without Banks meetings, then I hope you know that I believe financing should never be an issue. So funding should not be something that holds you back. And we'll get into my story and why, why I am a, a living testimony to that. So the money is made in putting deals together. This is a big picture concept, all right? The money is made in putting deals together. So you are not asking for something from the seller. You're not begging. You're not praying that they help you out. You are offering this great opportunity for them to do the deal in a way that benefits them. Your deal, the way you can structure this deal is the prize. And you and your knowledge are the prize, okay? So always go into a negotiation or talking to the seller as though you are the one offering them something. <clears throat> and my whole concept of business comes uh, from Zig Ziglar and this quote, many of you know this quote, uh, but you can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. So in this entire conversation, Never, 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 never interpret what I'm saying as though I'm trying to convince a seller to do something, okay, that may be not be in their interest. The only thing I am ever doing is explaining to the seller an opportunity they have, and when they see the benefits, they will act on it, all right? So I am serving those sellers. The more sellers we can serve, the bigger our business can get. Same with lenders, um, which we'll talk about in Buying Without Banks. The more lenders I can serve, the bigger my business will grow. All right, so my story, it was only uh, eight years ago, I was in a dark hospital room, and the only light was the monitor beeping in the corner, that rhythmic beep. Uh, we're familiar with and every now and then that beep the rhythm would alter and alarms would start going off and 
I was really lost. I had just come back from Kenya. Uh, my family were missionaries. Greater Dayton Rhea is a great source of information for real estate investors. You can learn what you need to do to succeed. You can learn the different opportunities that there are in the marketplace. And you can meet a lot of people that know about this from their own experience. It's a fantastic organization because you can network with uh, more seasoned investors. Uh, you meet all kinds of different vendors uh, each time. Uh, insurance companies, uh, title companies, there's always a different group of people here. And even though I've been involved in real estate since 99, every time I come to a meeting I learn something different. Um, you could also find contractors here. Um, it's just a really great way to network. The benefits that I've gotten from Razor Real over the years is being able to tap into a pool of knowledge experienced investors, experienced speakers that allow me to overcome any obstacles I might have from what I'm not familiar with. Way to Urea we learned that this is a team sport and being a landlord requires quite a few people to help. In to Urea we found our accountant, attorney, property manager, realtor who furnishes the lease for the properties. Yeah, I believe the appraisal. In 2010, to invest, the whole team was there. I had a property manager, realtors who had deals, and now I have four houses that are all turnkey solutions. I've invested in private LLCs. I didn't bought a you know, So by joining an organization like GD Rhea, you too can learn how to be a good investor. And we are an approved vendor with GD Rhea. We've been with you guys about four or five years now. We love networking with the members and we're here to help. So anything that they need help with, or you can find us here every meeting and uh, ask us whatever questions you need to. You guys have a location?